712 now. If you've ever gone on a whale watch, you probably remember how unforgettable it is to see enormous and spectacular marine mammals, especially in such close proximity to where we human types live. Well, here to tell us about a recent whale encounter and an experience with gray seals to boot, yes, our Scott Tucker with Expedition New England. Hello. Daughter Daphne, right? <laughs> What? You 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 join your dad with some of these things, don't you? Yeah. All right, very cool. So you guys went on uh, a whale watch off the tip of Provincetown. Yes. Is that right? And what's amazing is we woke up that morning in our own beds right here in southern Connecticut, mm -hmm. jumped in a car, and you, that same day, are eyeball to eyeball with marine mammals like the fin whale. Mm -hmm. the How big are those? These things get to be 80 feet long. Really? Almost 80 tons, the fastest whale on the planet, second largest. No kidding. And this was uh, somewhere off, uh, it's called Stellwagen Bank, right? Stellwagen Bank, again, is just this crazy place that it's protected. 800 square miles, protected marine habitat. Now, you can fish there, but yep. it's protected for seals, whales, and so many other creatures. It's incredible. Wow. Because I actually did a whale watch there years ago, and I got to tell you, um, I'm, I'm understanding that you guys had a little bit of a rough, uh, you had rough waters that day, is that right Daphne? Yes. Did you have a little trouble with breakfast? Yes, I did. Did you? <laughs> well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Don't feel bad, because back in 1981, long before you were ever a twinkle in your dad's eye, I uh, went on a whale watch, also to Stellwagen bank, bank, and everybody, most of the crew included, was sick. Oh. It was so horrible. Although we, we saw whales, <laughs> we just weren't too happy. So anyway, we're going to watch a clip of, I believe, from that, uh, from yours, not mine. That was uh, pretty rough. You wouldn't want to see that. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, do we have that clip available? Yeah. The captain's slowing down. We've got whales up ahead. The fin whale is the second largest whale on the planet, next to the blue whale. It grows to almost 90 feet long and can weigh over 70 tons. These guys feed exclusively on copepods and sand lance. Very interesting. Now this is at Stellwagen Bank. What is it that draws so much marine life there? Because And by the way, let's just talk about where it is to give a rough idea for people. Sure. Right off the tip of P-Town, if you look on a map, you'll yeah. actually see that it, it is designated. So it is on the, you know, the outer edges. Technically, it's the Gulf of Maine. But basically, um, you've got this north, uh, the Atlantic waters are flushed into the Gulf of Maine, and there's a bank where the geological structure of the surface of, uh, of, the, uh, of the ground underneath causes this upflow of all the nutrient-rich ah, okay. uh, material. Like plankton, maybe? Plankton, Things like that? Plankton, zooplankton, phytoplankton, krill, sand lands, all this food source for the whales. Well, and especially a little more extra when uh, people get sick on the boats. <laughs> and by the way, um, did you guys know a little secret? Uh, supposedly, if you get seasick, now you can't do it on a big boat, the instant cure is jump in the water. <laughs> Seriously, if you can. I've heard this. I've never, I wasn't able to. When I, all right, let's talk about the seals, incidentally. We saw the video of you there, Daphne, uh, <laughs> having a good time. But talk about the gray seals. The gray seals is another part of the story, which takes us back to 1972. Marine mammals were protected in 72, the Marine Mammal Protection Act. Yeah. All of a sudden, seals start to make a comeback. Now we're in a place where you can go to the Cape. You don't even have to get on a boat. You go to a stretch of beach. 300 seals hauled out on the beach. Daphne was there. It's, it was just unbelievable. Wow, and to prove it, you brought in a clip of that too, right? Let's have a look at it. You got it. At first glance, the seals look like a rock jetty piled together. You just couldn't believe it until you got up closer. Nowhere in New England did I ever expect to see such an incredible collection of seals. And also, uh, that was uh, Daphne and, and your friend Hillary, right? Yeah. All right, you guys, I gotta ask you something here. What do you think of your dad's enthusiasm here? He's a TV star, he's kind of a rock star, he's sort of a, a legend here. He's just dad to you, huh? Um. <laughs> She doesn't want to say anything bad. I'm really bad. putting you on the spot. I'm sorry. Hey, so, so what, now, a lot of people, I didn't know that there were gray seals around this area. 
the Grey Seal and the Harbor, more, more harbors, yeah. they come in hundreds and hundreds, come right into the Sound over winter, right here in Southern Connecticut. So you can see some of those seals in January, February, March, right up to early April. That's fascinating. Uh, that, is, that is really, uh, I'm amazed. I'm gonna have, I want to check that out sometime. I always think of seals, I think of San Francisco Bay, but we got it too. All right, thanks very much for being here. Daphne. Thank you. Scott, wonderful, with Exp Expedition New England. And for more information, you can go to our website, WTNH.com, and just click on Good Morning Connecticut. Hey, rain or shine, they're always out swimming around.